Do I mulligan at all is the real question here. I have no Sewer Raiders. I do have Savola access. Maybe I just keep the hand. Seems good. We'll keep. Uh, yeah. Unless I want to check by like Madame, but I think, I think I'm okay with two combo cards on hand. We'll keep the entire thing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, unfortunately, this is very much screaming. I want to 2 you. So, that's okay. Hmm. Rude. Don't touch the collector of taxes. Don't touch the collector of taxes. He's a taxing dude. He's doing what he should. Did you steal him? That's so rude. Hmm. Glad I started this deck. Easy, John. Just don't get to it. I'm trying. It's going to be hard on this one. Crystal Skull. So it's a real drag. Like a real big drag. I can only get four more cards. And the good news is Savola, my friends, is pretty brutal. Pretty darn brutal. Mm. Ah, that's a pretty good one to YOLO off of it. That's an engine. And the spender. And obnoxious. All right, Savola. You know the drill. Take no prisoners. No prisoners. <laughs> Let the fun begin. Can't you guys just Google the debate to settle your thing in chat? Can't you just Google German Germany Halloween and just see that the answer is? Uh, I don't know. I just, I see a bunch of photos of J Halloween stuff in Germany. I doubt it's as big as the USA, but I see a lot going on. We'll keep you just in case. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's nearly as big as the USA, but... It doesn't surprise me at USA traditions. I can be done elsewhere in the world as well. Alright, carrying on, carrying on with the game. <laughs> you guys in chat. Silly people. <laughs> Nick Randar. Also known as MC Randar with the precise info. Doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Is there any bricks in my deck? I'm like 99% sure it's always you mulligan here. Ah, uh, post sewer raiders. Okay. Cool. Uh, our hand's pretty. We missed. Oh, I have two combo pieces. I have two ways to find them. We're good. Hmm. Ardell is a problem, guys. I don't have any good answer to. I don't have an answer I love into Ardell here. Hmm. Because Ardell is going to bounce something. He'll live. I am sitting on Jackpot, though. All right, second Yoakim comes down. Second Fire Scorpion, yep. Hmm. Same time next week. We'll spread out in case of treason. You die. Hmm. Hmm. 
what to do now. Bribery should reveal my entire deck is at this point. That's a great choice. Yes, I work with at this point, I'm like 99% sure given how few units I have, they know what's up. Will I have problems getting coins still, John? Yeah, but no. I just have to use Jackpot. Hmm. Firing off cursed John emotes. <laughs> Alright, Slave's gone. That's really good for us. And yeah, they get jackpot. It's fine. They're like, aha, I've gotten Spender now. Okay. I'll play Tainted Ale. Go. Played an artifact, so I'm finally getting this Regis quest done. I'm glad I get to see you all fire emotes in the chat. Yeah, right, I think we have a good shot at this one. I'm not 100% sure we win this, but we're on track too. Actually. You, blue and slave. Huh. I don't think you have a veil. I'm just gonna discard here. Go. And Lydia's already been played, fortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna discard. I want to delay longer. I want this round to really drag for if I can. So I'm going to go for the mage here instead of the abomination with jackpot plus four coins. They really can kill anything I play, but if I can keep mage around one turn before they board wipe me, no, nope. it's all good. Like the biggest issue right now on my board is it was fine playing everything to get this far. Maybe I shouldn't just, like, maybe the regret earlier was that Fizz tech, because they ha clearly have Ardell in hand, which messes things up for me. It's going to be really hard trying to kill everything here. Do you jackpot? Do you wipe the board? No. You get close, though. Madame dies here. Ardell comes down, probably bounces Fist Tech. Probably the last card's Ardell, though. No, you're gonna do it a turn early? I think it's a major mistake on their part. You're gonna run, row it? Okay. Did I just screw that up in a really significant way, John? No. Technically, though, might have been better. Last card is? What is it? Did we do it, guys? I think we did it. I'm liking how this is shook out. Yanvo. Uh oh. My mind's telling me, Mander. I will say the jackpot version, not having one point, but having two here hurts. Anyways, D, D. I think I keep... The biggest issue is coin generation. We were near Manti to the flex here, so we should be okay. Lots of veil in this matchup indeed. Which, I was debating if I could find a way to fit Siegfried in this deck. I didn't find a way. Would have liked to have though. Poor Sun Jr. is going to be really important because of that, but it's going to be really hard. I don't really know if we win this one. 
Nothing better than a plate of warm, warm food and plain dark John stream. Thank you. Thank you. I can do a great deal hmm. No par uh, partisan. Thank you for those kind words. Hmm. All right, what's our draw situation? Wow, it's a really good order. Okay, let me take a picture of the deck. I'm using the fancy things. You guys are watching me through your web or through your computer, which is viewing me through a webcam, which is seeing me hold my phone to take a picture. To take a picture of the situation on my screen, which is also being streamed to you. That is technology at its finest. Vassell is here. Vassell is here. Oh my gosh. What a treat. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? How are you? How are you? Hmm. I got really philosophical this morning. I think it's, I'm starting to notice this trend between money and philosophy, which is kind of interesting. About how do you... Because, like, you can't... Money, if money is a tool, you need to figure out what, how to use money to make you happy. Now, you might be wondering, hey, John... You're not doing anything here, and you would be right. I'm playing nothing because as long as I'm willing to click jackpot and Savola, I'm pretty sure we just win the round. I wonder if that was right. Actually, I regret that. I should have gone Fizz Tech here or near me, or then Sewer Raiders. So would have been a smarter line. My poor opponent's like, really? I'm like, yep. I'm like, are you really doing it? Yep, 100% playing on the card. <laughs> yeah, long chip, okay. These are in <laughs> I think we're pretty much guaranteed to lose given how much avail these decks typically have, but with that said, boy, is this infuriating for them. They're like, I'm playing cards, and I'm like, I see that. You have a lot of those things, those cards that you referred to. Come out, come out, wherever you are. If you play another card, I'm going to switch my strategy. I'm going to go for something very different. Because I realize if I have to use Salamander... I can just use Salamander early and then do Savola against their last two cards. And Savola point and slam if they play is probably enough to just get it done. Get her done. Okay. So jackpot. No Alright guys, this combo is totally fair. That combo is fair and balanced. <laughs> Oh, man. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Someday I should get a Switch. It'd be fun to play Pokemon on stream or something. Something wild. There, I think there's... Uh... Wow. Okay, so our hand's really good. The only concern right now is coins. Do I mulligan Horse on Junior? Yes. Well, that's the entire combo. Coins are a problem. We'll have two carried over. Yeah, one veil gone. Uno veil. Gone, though. Nailed it. Welcome back, Horse on Junior. Coins, coins. Oh, I've run near Mancy though. Or near Mancy get me coins. Um. All right, Horse and Junior, you're gonna. I gotta toss you back. Cause we gotta, gotta get something more coins than that. Okay, pause, 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 pause. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So I have three coins. Okay, okay, okay. I like this hand. I think his hand's as good as it gets. I'm gonna keep the hand. Play a nice, gentle round. 
Savola won't get near. Well, Savola is fine, but sells a card. It is 100%. This card is a. It's basically 13 points for 10 provision. That you don't actually have to use a card for. It's literally just starting plus one. It's just so overpowered, and it's a spender. Like, jeez, I don't know how that card even got printed. Hmm. Hmm. I see you think you're gonna be tricky here. But I have played the Flaming Rose Footman in attack mode. Flaming Rose Footman, use charge attack on Craig on Crate, founder of Crate and Barrel. I don't think it's gonna work. Okay. Really good. Two dangerous cards are gone. Hmm. 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 Well, I think I'm getting Horse and Junior out. Uh, where do I go for you? Salamandra hideout for the mage. Full tribute, go. Trying to delay my cards. Also, now I can get three coins by getting it. Only if they chip on the melee. Yeah, it would have really helped, but they didn't, unfortunately. Wouldn't help with the coins. It would help with the fact that some of their veiled units might survive this whole affair. That's it. Game's over. That was the easiest win of my life. I don't think they can fit all these and Fukusa in there. They might be able to. They might be able to. Um. Do I have enough coins? Bigger becoming the real question here. Wait, what is? Oh, I have Royal Decree access for. Okay. I did mute that for the burp, right? The burp did not hit the stream. Yeah, the question is, do they res a third invader? And if they do, I'm going to be in trouble there. But I don't get the vibe of Fukusa. This I'm not getting the Fukusa vibe, which is key. But lol, good to see you. It looks like you're about to fight Kasari. Legendary player in the Plain Talk family. He's an absolute monster. An absolute meme lord in his own right. Be careful. Yeah, what are you going to do now? I have no targets. Look like the scariest thing in the game. What do you mean they have no targets? They have none. I think I'm good. I think I have enough coins to pull off what I need. The Royal Decree. Maybe that. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just good horse. <laughs> Go. Yeah, I have just enough. Or Neuromancy for other. Uh, it's probably Smuggle. Fizz Tech works as well. And that gets us the round. Okay, sweet. My opponent's like. Hmm. I'm at how many points again? Oh, yeah, just kill Horson Jr. He's a scary guy. You should be careful of him. Angry. Learning from Master John? Maybe. You've been a, you've been a long time, Mimir. Mm, I think Smuggle's best choice here. Alright, we have achieved supremacy. We have seven coins. Perfect hand. Yep, seven correct. Correct, Lockox. Seven's the magical number you need at the end of all your shenanigans. Whatever order you play it in, you want to get to these two cards in hand with at least seven coins. Here, let me help you out a little bit. Do you have Fukusa in your hand? 
Do you have Fukusa in your hand? Because it would be a real shame if you hid something like Morkvarg, Morkvarg all game. Do you have Fukusa in your hand? I think it's Morkvarg. Is it Morkvarg? Show me Morkvarg. And I'll laugh real hard. Alright, what do we got, guys? Is it Morkvarg? Is it Morkvarg? Uh, Miss J, yes. Madame absolutely still works. If she, it is Morkvarg. Absolute read. Absolute slaughter here. Read him like a book. Well, I do believe that is uh, GG for the books. Good game. The hand is so good. And so bad. Um, I'll find you later. Not the draw I wanted. Fine, I'll run it. I'm reluctant to. I don't like odds. I think you're looking really bad, making me all kinds of sad. I'm going to the next game. I don't do mill today. Playing Salamander in the mill. Hurts a lot. Not a combo deck. <laughs> the four part combo deck is not really going to be great. Next. I think this is the first one. Some random line pockets deck. John self damage series. Quite strong. Yeah. Hmm. You have our undivided attention. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is then after this swap over to Fall Guys, and then we'll pick up a Salamander tomorrow as well. That's a good hand. That's a darn good hand. Dead man's tongue. That's okay. Do you have another practice to play? Rackus Queen Decoy. Ooh, Greg, that's a good thought. I don't think I have to rush it yet, but I like where your head's at. You should get only buff cards here, like Kearney Joust and Coded and Ointment. Units are overrated. Embrace. Okay. That is a pretty bad low roll, man. <laughs> Next. Hmm. I don't think I was right. I think Furco was the better choice there, but that's all right. So they're like, oh, you know, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal one of their spenders. And you know what? I'm gonna say to that in response, I don't run any. Playing it to the left here to make sure you can't die to assassinate. Now we're on board on even, actually. Of nine coins, we're actually crushing them. What? Yeah, okay, this is really interesting. I think just because Jin, because Emissary and Jin effectively is a cancel out play in my favor of Force. So even though none of us have committed any good units yet, because of the fact that we're able to get rid of Stratagem and Fizz Tech, we're kind of back on even. Our Stratagem and the Emissary buff. It's more even than it should normally be. Are you ready for the moment?
Uh, you packing red haze? Nope. All right, that feels really good. When you get the four, you go Savola. If you're in control, go Savola and punish them. We're really just punishing them off the emissary, lamp gin, and the double fist tech response play. No, Basel, there will be no chances to pass. Welcome back, Emperor. No chances to pass. We here at Nilfgaard Emporium only believe in the finest set of cruelty. Uh, we have full combo in hand, too. And jackpot still. We, we've got this game on lockdown, guys. I repeat, we're going into lockdown operation code Omega Betas 123123. You missed you? Of course I did, Emperor. Welcome back. Now we can debate whether, uh, the, what parts of the world debate are, uh, what parts of the world celebrate particular holidays like winter solstice and, uh, and, uh, St. Patrick's Day. We can debate all that. It'll be good. Hmm. Hand's pretty good. I think, I think his hand's fine. I'll run it. Maybe, maybe I should fizz tech was the wrong card, but I think it's fine to just open up fizz. Sure. <laughs> Let's not. I was just messing up here. Just messing around. Oh no, they're gonna get a ton of copies of Tax Collector. My my friend Tax Collector. And couldn't be more good, also known as better. You're right, Basel. And you know everything, Emperor? Hmm. What is a question that's on my mind lately that's complicated and weird and would require a hot, pretty hot take from Emperor? What is an interesting question? Hmm. I don't know if I have any. Even marketing? That's awesome. Should I turn my logo from blue and green to just green? I could do finance, but I feel like that'd be bullying. I'd rather see somebody, and I'd rather try to make them have to answer questions that have been on my mind in some capacity. And it'd be more interesting. I will take a tax collector. What do you want to teach you? I'll become the next Elon Musk. Um, how far away do you think it'll be until self-driving trucks replace the trucking industry? Or the current trucking industry? That is my question. That is my question. That is a hot take, Emperor. How long do you think it'll be until it's wiped out? Because it's a ticking time bomb. You can teach a computer how to drive a car. We're very close to doing it without having to have people in there. Which means every truck driver in the United States, the primary way to get transporting goods around, will disappear. So what is your what's your hot take here, Emperor? And why? Hmm. Ten years? Fantasy profits ten? Man, that'd be crazy. There are so many millions of jobs that are tied up with that. Do you even need them to exist? Emperor, the answer is yes. You absolutely do. That much is certain, because the trucking is how everything is moved through the United States. I don't know where you live. I'm in the USA. Uh, there's a couple major ports, two on the West Coast, and I think like one or two on the East Coast. And everyone just sends trucks there, and that's how all the goods get around the country. Maybe, Amber, how would you move goods around the United States from China? How about we start there? So I've noticed that they had a scheme in this game, and it has not worked well. Have you guys seen what the scheme, they, what their plan was, and how poorly it's failed here? Do you guys see it? It's so funny. Their poor opponent's like, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. And my answer is, nope. And all I do is make mage. I like never make any of the other ones anymore. You know... I think it's, uh, he's chilling. He's chilling. Have you seen Spider-Man? No, I haven't. Brickham asked me that earlier. I have not. Hmm. I love that. Refunds there. Now they know they're in trouble. This is a problem, but I think my thought is you the second one in hand. I can just run near him and see out the solution. Or just murder it. Why not? Don't like it? I don't actually like movies. That's my that's my secret that everyone hates. I don't like movies. I don't. I don't get into them. 
One on the other side's pretty neat. So yeah, their scheme is they were just gonna wait till I play like a Sea Jackal and copy of Brathens, but I think they're starting to realize I don't care about the coins. I have plenty. I'm not gonna give you something to copy. It's an easy, easy out here. Eventually, you're gonna get click this, and you're gonna see a miserable hand. <laughs> give him a little taunt. Give him a little well played here. One, two, three. Your turn. Want to watch everything go poorly for them really quickly? This is going to be really funny. For one of the rare times in this game, I'm going to take a weird line of play. You ready? Bring Equinox front row. The idea is you can't coup out the other Mage Torture here anymore. So you can coup one of my back row things, but they all are super useless. This is going to be wild. Huh. Well, renew seems optional in this game. Anyways, G G. Checking on some stats. How is Gwent's growth? Find out. I shall not repeat. Uh, okay. Got another proc to play. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm proc to play checking you. If you don't have. Another play. That's feel pretty bad. That's feel pretty darn bad. What will you do? Because now I can go fist tech poison, and I've not committed anything to the board. Nothing to turn each else. Nothing to kill. Nothing. Nothing. Let's refocus on the game. Now if I, yo, you guys, uh, I'm. Try not to scream so. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! Hands off the alchemisto. This could go really poorly, guys. I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> hmm. What copy target do you have? Because you get it. I don't actually have a way to stop you here. Hmm. I mean, I could do some finagling and pour some freak shit and all that. Maybe I should run a Roderick too. Uh huh. I just know what the deck is. Is it Maddox? Is it Mill? Is it what is this? That it's Mill. That it's Mill. Because using an Operator for Pete's sake. I don't know. They get to do their combo. I just don't know what it is. Could I combo in the Salamander if I was desperate here? Yes, I could. Is it or near Mancy Spam, do you guys think? Torture, fine. I'm gonna kill Mage Torture. I just wanna see what they're doing. I'll let, him, I'll let him have the day. I'll let him have the day. Go for it. I'll, I'll, I'll kill the things that aren't. I'll kill the non. the assimilate engines that aren't the PL practitioner. I wanna see what they're doing. Show it to me. Make my day. If you do a good job, your deck might be my next video, so let's find out. You Calviate to rig the order of your deck. Hop into your opponent's graveyard. I would love a card that would let me take my top card of my deck and put it in my opponent's grave. Treason's fine. I thought I was being really polite. It's a little rude to kill that, don't you think? Yeah.
With the other raiders here. Show it to me, bud. Show it to me. I give you four copies. I've not killed a single one. Is it Maddox? Is it or near Is it ball? Is it five ball? I just want to win the round. I intend to win on the next one of Savola and friends, but I want you to combo first so I can. Here we go. It's Terra Nova's. No one can stop the Salamandra. No one. Oh, I screwed up, guys. That's all right. I should have put nine points on something else. Cause now you're too tall. Alright, show me more. Show me more. Okay, so you have five Terra Novas in your deck now, or at least one might be in your hand. So you should, and well, you, you Calviate. So now at this point, we should assume the final round is five Terra Novas. Meaning Tax Collector is actually probably a pretty good draw. I actually really like our hand. We'll just keep. Maybe hurt. My issue right now is coins. Coins are what I'm bad at. I spend everything there. To get through that, to get them out of that round. We win on even though. So I just need coins here. I can do this in the cheapest, you know, most coin focused way possible. You get to Terra Nova me. I get to Salamander you. And we get to see what happens. It's going to be fun. Maybe. They have at least one bail unit left in their deck because they're running Terra Nova, so only one of the two Mage Torturers has been seen. But my hope is... And you play bribery, and you find out, unfortunately, that I am Salamander. <laughs> Salamander combo! Salamander combo! <laughs> it's a combo bowl from Salamanderville. It is a meme fest. You gotta embrace the memes. Sharing guys, I think I think we got this. I think we got them cooked. Cooked over an open fire. I've been thinking about doing some more Imperial Practitioner memes lately. I've been thinking about it. Yeah, it seems like a good draw. Uh everyone near Mancy for you and I'm ready. Uh I guess I should mole again. Away from you, maybe? Nice. Now I have flexibility of spring equinox or something else. We have nine coins here. We can run it tight if we need to. We're near a man. I'm really hoping they don't have a veil unit. If they have a veil unit, it's gonna kind of suck, like a lot. But as long if as long as actually it should be okay because if you play the because I have double last say if you play mage torture, I can play tank today. I'll kill it and use the killing on salamander hideout to kill salamander. It doesn't really matter because I get to go uncontested in the final round. So I think we got this one wrapped up. Let's see it. You get a million points, and I get a delicious all-you-can-eat point buffet. I like your style, though. I like the style. I've been thinking about more MPO practitioner decks. Yep. Yep. Go for it, bud. This is going to get disgusting very quickly. Very quickly. Second Terra Nova, go. Third Nova, go. Fourth Nova. Go. Five Terra Novas. Show me the money, baby. Unless they have the Mage Torture in their hand, then they're awkwardly sitting there trying to find a better copy target. And I'm sitting here like, do you want one of my one of my flaming rose footmen? Here, have a smuggle. Look how look how beautiful the board is currently. Two Terra Novas, two Imperial Practitioners, and two Flaming Rosemen. Yes, I think I think it'll be a hundred points going away, roughly. Is every like 
most of the Terra Novas double proc assimilate. And they're both in that and the Imperial Practitioners are spawned. Are the real deal. Now, there is a world where if they have some kind of tutor, I play Rhaenyromancy, it triggers the grave, they put 400 copies on top, and they go wild. Which would be very cool to see. Alright, we'll go Mage with Hold, go. No surprise here. Don't really need points to win this round. And Tainted and Hide Up pretty much guarantee a double last say. And running in the Nilfgaard, a deck known for copying, is dangerous if I want to run out Abomination to go to Point Generator. Especially when you know it's like a Terra Nova Assimilate deck, Brathens, and even just Duchess Informants without Brathens, right behind. Right behind. It's so pretty watching them with their board. My opponent is spending a lot of time reading Salamandra Mage, but don't you worry. I'm just getting started on the mage. Hmm. It's an interesting situation. An interesting situation. Okay. So, we got this. Brathens is down. That's why you were always very cautious here. Dutch is on mage. I'm a little surprised to see it because it... This is not... Well, I guess it's not a simulate proc. Might as well get it down sooner rather than later. I suppose that's the uh, logic here. So you probably were wondering why I was positioning it and trying to figure out where it was. And it was a difficult choice there. I was trying to figure out which one would look the prettiest. Because this is so pretty so far that I wanted to make sure my board was looking pretty. And my conclusion was keeping these in alignment was the prettiest. So as a result, that's why I placed Madame over here. Also works around trees in a little bit. Play John self damage. Nice below. Yeah, that's good. I like it. I like it. Instant accidental comment from Kasari. Okay, Furkart coming down. What will Furkart do? Furkart for the coup on the Dodges of Format. Copying the Anger Mage. Didn't yoink Roderick, right? Nah, he's chilling. He's chilling. Let us see. Anything I'm missing in this deck? Nah, let's go Tainted. We want to delay or near Mancy as long as possible in case we need Spring. Hmm. All right, opponent, what do you got? I need, I need a little something from you. Terra Nova. I don't remember what card if mine is in their hands. Oh, they yoinked it from my grave. I don't remember what it was. Gonna get ugly no matter what I do, so so be it. We'll go there. No, it's Roderick's still here. Uh, Brainer, I forget what it was, to be honest. Um. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know what they yoinked. I don't care. Just play it. It's two cards left. We're a little past the point. Oh, it's worth some feature. That's the one. How many coins do I have? Plenty. Great. Tina bouncers. Go. The Casino Bouncer is a kind of a pro move. It's rare that you get to see this line. But let's say this is a large Veil unit. By keeping it here, I can nuke the board. Go up to 9. Click the Casino Bouncer and get him out. Alright, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, that was fun. 
Goodbye. Well, good game. <laughs> G G. Shout out to Winston, Ahmed Ali, pseudonym 81, and Mick Randar for all their generous support on the Patreon.